Jason, we did have this. Oop, actually, before we get to Jason, check this out. This is what Kittery looked like earlier this evening. Our team caught these lightning strikes at Fort Foster. Again, parts of New Hampshire and Maine were under a tornado warning for most of the afternoon. While it is rare, the Maine Emergency Management Agency says on its website, an average of two tornadoes touch down in the state each year. And of course, no tornado with this storm. And you even said it a second ago, we were chatting. It was kind of a dud. Yeah, I mean, the farther east you went, you got to Maine and it was more stable. So there are no tornado warnings in Maine. There were a bunch in Vermont and New Hampshire. Yep. Um, the watch was just conditions were favorable, which they were. And as we get into tonight, the rain's going to taper off. Severe threat has ended. All clear on that. Thunderstorms fire up again tomorrow. These are garden variety not severe, uh, not, not that kind of environment. So don't worry tomorrow about tornadic activity. Um, we're going to be improving uh, greatly the rest of the week. There's still rain going on in Penobscot Bay. It's heavy. There's lightning. I mean, I don't want to downplay the people that had limbs down and trees down and power lines. I mean, some of that did happen, right? So this wasn't a complete dud, but you know, as far as what we what could have happened, definitely didn't get there. So approaching Bar Harbor right now, uh, we've got a bunch of rain coming through and uh, lightning too. I'm going to zoom in down east here. Uh, Eastport getting in on the rain, Rogue Bluffs, MDI, Southwest Harbor, uh, head down the coastline here, Penobscot Bay, Deer Isle. That's where the rain, that's where the storms are the worst. Up here, up in the county, now this in northern Maine, this is not anything close to severe. It's not even I any mean, lightning with this, but it still is raining heavily. Visibility all over the map here, four miles, Bar Harbor, five in Portland, three in Caribou with the fog. Temperatures here, and the reason why we have somewhat of a dud is because the warm front, which you can clearly see where it is, I mean, it's right around here with those 70s to 80, that didn't make it that far north. And because it didn't, we didn't kind of get all the energy in the destabilizing Eastport 63 now. So all good local storm reports. So I don't want to downplay the people that had some damage. There are about four or five reports here. You see those going on. So there was some in southern Maine and into tonight. The rain is going to stop for the most part. There'll be some scattered showers tomorrow. We'll get some sun. It'll warm up pretty quickly and then we're going to have an, a little low pressure system kind of dive south and spin up more showers and even some thunderstorms. You see that here, follow long time code to Monday evening going through. So more rain is coming, but it's going to set up just a fantastic Tuesday. Tuesday morning, you wake up to a lot of sun, wind out of the north. It's going to heat up. We're going to be in the 80s. It's going to be hot Tuesday. Humidity will be tolerable, mid 80s in Lewiston. And then Tuesday night, we're all clear. Okay, it looks very nice Tuesday night. Although I will say humidity is going to come back. If you don't like that, that's coming back Tuesday night and went to Wednesday uh, and a piece of Thursday for the Mariners sees at four to six. Small craft is up uh, next seven days. We've got hot and dry weather coming Tuesday. We'll take that uh, Wednesday. It's humid with showers. Same thing Thursday, but it's not as hot. Friday is pick of the week for me into Saturday. Humidity is low 70s. I mean, that's just just perfect. Some thunder gets back in on Sunday because it is summertime uh, at the coast here. Uh, some 80s. It's going to be hot. Uh, it'll be humid uh, Wednesday, Thursday. Uh, definitely. If you're not used to that thing, you'll be get the AC going. And then Friday just looks like an absolute dream. Uh, I mean, there are clouds Saturday, but the beginning to the weekend, this upcoming weekend looks fantastic. All right. Sounds good. Thank you, Jason.